Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I will be doing a whip and chat video. If you guys are new to these videos, basically I am just worry working on my current work in progress, which today is Little Lizard Garden. This is by Rose Catherine Kahn, and here is a look at the original artwork. This is so, so pretty. This is actually my first time working on this on camera with you guys, and I'm only four sections in. I have not worked on this painting as much as I've wanted to. Um, but that's totally okay. It's a it's a huge one. It's a work in progress. It's going to be amazing when it's done. Um, but I'm going to be working on uh, Little Lizard Garden, and if you guys can feel free to work alongside me. You could go ahead and listen to this like a podcast. I definitely do both ways, <laughs> just depending on what I'm doing for the day. Um, but I'm so excited because I have not done a whip and chat video in I think okay so it's gonna I guess be two weeks and I guess really three weeks because two weeks ago I did a kid up and chat video which I titled live and chat but it, it was basically kind of like that um but I was also talking you guys through how I kid up a diamond painting and so the week before that was kind of my last whip and chat um and I'll talk a little bit more as to why I wasn't doing a whip and chat last week but um yeah I think I think that's enough <laughs> enough rambling I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just take off the release paper Ooh, what a gorgeous section also I just realized my lamp isn't on I'm not actually sure that made that much of a difference but whatever um we are going to be working on this section right here today very ugh, beautiful colors I love this painting so much sorry my chair is so squeaky but I love this painting so much I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a bit look how stunning oh my god this is, con this is like confetti central and I love it um but for, as for my accessories for today I am just using this tray from Diamond Art Club in their newer kits um the tray is super nice and then as for my pen I am using this pen that is from Enablers Outpost I actually got it in Katie or Diamonds and Washi her Patreon she was doing a stash in her Patreon um, a few weeks ago at this point so I got this pen from her and it's from Enablers Outpost it's so pretty it's so long <laughs> I like I just it's been a what's the word like a time that's not the word I want to use just like trying to like get used to um you know whenever I go from the single placer to the to the multi placer it's like just such a long pen um I guess for comparison purposes like this is a pen I well, okay no they're about the same length why am I struggling then if this is I just okay well I just ruined my own point but um, regardless I really love this pen and yeah very glad I have it so okay that's for my accessories in my multi-placer sorry the multi-placer here I am just using Randa's Crafty Corner Putty um but I'm gonna go ahead and just hop into it because I feel like we have so much to catch up on oh my gosh hi guys listen I hope everyone's been doing well um I uploaded a couple of videos um I guess over the weekend on Friday and then Saturday is when I uploaded the flip through video um so I have seen you guys a little bit but we really haven't had the chance to like sit down and talk I just I feel like it's been hectic um but again I'll get into that a little bit later on but I did want to catch you guys up on my Las Vegas vacation because I've already been back for over a week at this point and it's obviously I haven't talked about it with you guys really I guess I touched on it like a little bit in my diamond painting vlog when I got back I included some footage um, so if you're interested in seeing some footage from the trip it wasn't a ton of footage but if you are interested in seeing it um, the vlog is on my channel um, but, oh my god, I guess let's just talk through a little bit about the trip. Um, I had a really fun time. If you guys weren't aware, I went to Las Vegas, um, at this point almost two weeks ago. Uh, actually, it was two weeks ago at this point, um, which is really crazy. We left two weeks ago. Um, and I was there from a Sunday to a Thursday, and I went with my parents and my brother and my sister, and we had a very fun time. So... Let's see, I have I have notes because number one, it's been so long already so that I had to literally look at my photos and be like, okay, what did I do each day? Because photos are a really good reminder of what I did. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just kick off, I guess, with Sunday, which was travel day. Um, 
and we we are the type of family we we like to get them early flights and uh, which isn't really a bad thing like that doesn't bother me um we're also the type of family we're like your very typical midwestern airport family um where we will get to the airport like way too early um which ended up being totally fine but like our flight was at hmm, 6 15 i think in the morning um and we were at the airport by like 4, 4.15. Um, I had my alarm set for um, 3.20. I think that's when I had my alarm set. So that's way too, way too early of a time. Um, that's okay though. It's fine. Obviously it was fine. Um, but I will say I was exhausted. I was exhausted that day, which is so sad because last year when we went, it was like the exact same thing. Timing wise, everything was the same. I wasn't so exhausted. Like, am I just getting older? Um, well, obviously I'm getting older, but like, am I getting that old that like, I just get that tired? Um, it's okay though. We, um, yeah, so all of our flights and everything were on time. Um, nothing crazy travel wise with any sort of delays which is obviously great so everything there was good um and made it to vegas we really like i feel like never had anything like structured necessarily that we were doing while we were there um like i don't know like sunday we really didn't like we did stuff obviously like we gambled and and browsed around the casinos and you know walked around the casinos um but yeah, I feel like we never really had anything super structured except for like one of the days. Um, so yeah, we just kind of gambled that day. Um, when I tell you every single person in my family was in bed at like 7 p.m. that night though, <laughs> which was in central time, like uh, 9 p.m. So I was, we were all, we were all exhausted. I went up to the room, I think at like... I don't know 6 30 maybe maybe even a little bit earlier and I remember thinking like okay I'm in bed but I feel like I can't like with a good conscience go to bed um before eight o'clock because like come on it's still light out I think I ended up falling asleep around like 7 30 I was so tired that night and you know we were up since um since three in the morning central time and so that was like 1 a.m pacific time which is you know where we were um so yeah that was just i was exhausted <laughs> i was very very tired that night and um yeah we all went to bed very early and i think i slept like 12 hours that night which i guess was much needed because i definitely did not get enough sleep the night before i swear my neighbors <laughs> always have a so both both times we left to go to vegas the last year and this year was always the sunday after the fourth of july um and so i am fully convinced that my neighbors kind of across the way have a saturday night after the fourth party <laughs> Because <laughs> not only did it happen last year, it happened this year where like there was some loud music and I'm like, okay, this never happens and it only seems to happen the Saturday after the 4th. So apparently we just can't go on vacation anymore during that time, guys, because I just never get sleep that night because their music is loud, which is fair, you know, whatever. I mean, is it ideal? No, but whatever, I guess. Um, so yeah, all that to say, we were like so tired. I was so tired. Um... So that was Sunday in a nutshell. Um, Monday, we went downtown a little bit and just kind of walked around downtown. Um, I like downtown. I think it's fun. But if I'm being so honest, I think the machines downtown, like the poker machines are so bad. Um, now, that is because I like a very specific poker machine and I can't find that one downtown. And I've looked like, you know, both times I was there, I looked very closely for the machine I like, which is called multi-strike poker. And I just couldn't, couldn't find it. <laughs> and um, it's fine, obviously. And um, I actually ended up getting a little bit more obsessed with um, a slot machine that was Little Shop of Horrors themed that I found out about last year and like played a little bit last year, but this year I feel like I really like played it a lot more. Um, but yeah, so I don't like love the machines downtown personally, um, but we were downtown for a bit. Uh, the table games are cheaper downtown, which my brother and my dad played more table games than, you know, the rest of us did. So totally fair. And um, while we were downtown, we ran across this little store 
and there was this adorable Taylor Swift, like, I believe it was fan art, it had to have been, um, poster, and it was basically, actually, I'll just show you guys the picture. Um, let's see, because I saved a picture of it. This is the, this is the poster, and basically it's Taylor dressed up, um, in different eras tour outfits like that she wears on the eras tour uh mine is this one i think this one is from maybe the 1989 tour maybe um but like you know the uh red shirt the um 1989 outfit oh my god it's hard to see both of, oh no, no no that's not 1989 that one's the lover bodysuit um this is the 1989 outfit um the red dress like the folklore dress so like I just thought that was so cool and I was like oh I really want it but I didn't end up getting it and I, like still to this day I regret not getting it and I'm like dang it <laughs> that's on me I guess like I would have had to like carry it around with me the rest of the day which like obviously is not a big deal but um <sighs> Oh well, I didn't get it and I have to live with that now. I'm sure maybe I could find something on Etsy that's similar and like maybe that artist sells on Etsy. I would have to search it up and like try to find it, but like maybe, hmm, that could be, that could be something I do. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the most memorable, memorable thing from downtown if I'm being honest. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, I'll try not to cough too much. Um, I am getting over a cold, which I will talk about a little bit later, um, but I'm still having like a lingering cough from it, so unfortunately, but we made it 11 minutes before I coughed, so that was pretty solid, um, but anyways, so yeah, that was Monday, and then Tuesday was our day that we had more of a structured plan, so on Tuesday, we started out by going to the Win Buffet, and that was really delish, I got a super good crepe they had made to order crepes oh my god it was so good it um oh, you know what you guys i'll show you guys the picture of the crepe too because it's just so worth it it's just so worth looking at oh no but i didn't favorite it okay so stand by for two seconds also maybe i should have the the brightness up a little bit more for you guys um <laughs> stand by here we go okay this is the crepe that i had and listen it kind of looks like a leaf on a on a on a crepe thing but like it was a chocolate mousse crepe and oh my god it was so good and yeah they were made to order crepes and that was like probably my favorite part about that um buffet so we did we did the buffet um and then let me see what do my notes say oh my gosh so i have the best story ever this is gonna be my favorite story to tell for life i think um but we decided to go to the venetian hotel because there is an art gallery there and my dad loves an artist his name is charles fazino he does a lot of like pop art stuff it's not not really my thing but some of it's kind of cool um but that was like the one art gallery that we kind of saw on the map and we're like all right let's go take a look um and so we we walk in me and my family we walk in to the downstairs part of this um this art gallery and this guy is sitting there the worker and like we're the only people in the sh in the store and or the art gallery and you know he's talking to my dad um explaining where the fascinos are which are in like a um like the upper part of the gallery it's not connected it's it's odd that gallery had like a couple different spots in it um but they're not not connected but they're both in the venetian um and i am sitting here staring at this guy <laughs> staring at this guy thinking to myself man this guy looks familiar <laughs> um and and the thing is, is like in my brain, I'm thinking this guy looks exactly like the guy who plays the dad on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Okay, listen, that is an absolute throwback childhood thing for me. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking to myself, you know, it probably isn't him. Um, why would he be working at an art gallery in Las Vegas? I don't know. Um, and my mind is probably deceiving me. I'm sure there's a lot of doppelgangers out here. Like, you know, obviously, like we're you know people you know it just could be somebody else for sure um, and so we uh we exit the art gallery um and we go to the other part of it where the fazinos are 
And but, but while we're doing that, of course, I pull out my phone. I have to do some sleuthing because I am an expert sleuther. Um, and I, I did not know the actor's name who played the guy. Um, so I looked up who plays the dad on The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody and it comes up Bob Torty. Um, and I'm like, okay. And then I search his name, Bob Torty, and then Las Vegas. And then I see something pop up with a, from basically with the website of him as in his contact information for working at the art gallery in the Venetian. <laughs> and the way I like turned to my mom, because when we were exiting the store, I, I turned to her and I said, does that guy look like the dad from The Sweet Life to you? And she's like, I mean, I don't know. And I, I turned to her now and I said, mom, like, I believe that is the, the dad from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and The Sweet Life on Deck. And she's like, wait, what? And then we're in this other art gallery and I say to the worker in the other art gallery, I go, hey, listen, I have the dumbest question for you. <laughs> <laughs> who was the guy that was working in that other art gallery the like you know one downstairs he said oh Bob Bob Torty and I'm like was that guy an actor and he's like yeah yeah he was he loves telling people about it I'm like I knew him from my childhood um and so me my sister and my brother all went back downstairs because of course I needed a picture with him right like that is just not something you pass up it really truly isn't um so we all went back downstairs the three of us and I was like oh my god I'm sorry this is gonna sound like I don't even know exactly what I said but I'm basically like this is gonna sound so stupid but like I know you from my childhood um and he was so nice he was so nice like one of the best like celebrity encounters like I've, I've not had like any celebrity encounters what am I saying um but like truly like what a nice and humble guy and it was just like such a good time um and yeah he was so nice and I like kind of wanted to ask him like some questions but like I wasn't gonna be annoying so I didn't um but yeah just like I met the dad from the sweet life of Zach and Cody in Vegas which was insane and I still am in shock from it um, so like that was really really cool that was like the highlight of my trip personally <laughs> like that show really is my childhood um I used to watch it all the time and it was so funny because one of my friends texted me and she was like because I had posted about it on on social media and she was like like I would have never recognized that man out in public like did you know that that was him right away or like what happened because not a chance I would have recognized him and I'm like honestly I don't know I don't know how I recognized him but like something had clicked like I like to think I have a pretty crappy memory but apparently when things you remember things you remember certain things <laughs> so that was just like insane that was my insane moment of the trip um but that was definitely the story I was most excited to tell you guys about Ooh, did we finish that color I think we did okay um so yeah that was so fun he was so nice oh my goodness oh no this color is just like not <laughs> not coming out of here um yeah definitely the highlight for me so in case you guys are wondering and you guys were fans of that show <laughs> he apparently works in the Venetian now so <laughs> crazy crazy stuff um I think I want to do I barely worked on this kit, so I'm still like trying to figure out where some of the colors are in my tray. But that's okay, we found it. We found it. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was just the beginning of Tuesday to top it off with with the buffet and meeting Bob Jordy. Um, let's see. Oh, we um were continuing browsing like the the shops in the Venetian and um there was a like store that had signed posters like really nice signed like poster posters like framed posters of uh celebrities and things and there was this really fun one that was taylor themed and it was um it was the folklore long pond version it was so cool it had like uh, the long pond record in it it had like the thumbnail that she used in like the not the thumbnail but like you know the the album image that she used in the long pond um version of the album and it was signed and oh I considered it also but I'm like no okay you don't want to do that um I really did want to do that but I wasn't going to do that um so I saw that that was so cool I yeah, maybe like a little bit wish I had considered it a little bit more <coughs> excuse me oh my goodness I promise I'm not dying the way that my voice probably did just make me sound like I was dying I promise I'm not um 
it was like I didn't want to cough so I tried not to and then it just like that just sounded awful also and this is I don't do any editing in my whipping chat so ugh, okay anyways um yeah I don't know what I was saying but that was a really cool that was a really cool poster um I took a picture of it not sure I should have but I did oh, so there's that and then we ended off that night uh doing trivia at uh, Ellis Island, which was so fun. So Ellis Island is basically right off the strip, but it's practically on the strip. Like we stayed at Ellis Island last year. I wouldn't recommend staying in it personally. Um, we did not stay there this year. We stayed at Planet Hollywood this year. Um, but we did some trivia there, which listen, <laughs> Apparently you put my family together. We are just not smart that like that smart combined. Um, but we did, we did, we did not great. We, I was gonna say we did okay. We really, no, we didn't though. We, um, I think we ended up in like third to last place out of like 18 teams. So that's okay. It's fine. It was still very fun. I feel like trivia always tends to be so hard. There was one category that was like, guess the comedians based off of their voices. Like, I'm sorry, who here has that much knowledge of comedians to, to do that? Um, so yeah, we didn't do that great. And see, that replaced the music category. Usually they do a music category. And I feel like I would have maybe done okay with music. Um, but even then, they had like a name the band category that I did not do well at. So I guess unless it's Glee or Taylor Swift, I probably wouldn't have done very well. <laughs> or old school Disney. <laughs> um, but it was still fun regardless. And the food there was really good. And we got some really good fried pickles um, as an appetizer. I love fried pickles so much. Oh my goodness. But um, yeah, so we did that. That was all Tuesday. That was, that was a lot. Um, and then Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, I feel like we didn't really do anything very structured Wednesday. Um, I had taken a picture of my food from a nacho place that we went to. Um, I, I recommend it a lot, actually. It was, it was called Nacho Daddy. <laughs> it was really, really good. I actually didn't get nachos, though. Um, I ended up getting chicken quesadillas, which were really good. It was actually an appetizer. Um, I just didn't really feel like nachos, but the uh, quesadillas were actually re really good. Um, this color next. They were really good. So we went there for, it was like an in-between lunch and dinner thing. We didn't, I don't know, our meal times weren't really, we were mealing whenever we wanted to meal at that point. Um, I'm actually gonna take a quick sip of my soda because I've been talking for 22 minutes straight and I am surprised I still have a voice. Okay, hopefully this helps. I probably should have water, but I didn't want to refill my water, so we're doing a soda. Um, after we went to the nacho restaurant, you guys, I was exhausted, my mom was exhausted, my brother was exhausted, so the three of us went back to our respected rooms, aka me going with my mom and my brother went to his room, and we all, I believe, fell asleep <laughs> for naps. <laughs> I don't love napping on vacation, I really don't, or going to bed that early for that matter, especially if you're in Las Vegas, I mean, come on, um, but we did. We took a couple hour nap, um, we were all very, very tired. I don't know if it, I think it had to have been the heat. It was just so hot there. Um, but we took a little nap, which was so needed. And then we went to a show and I think it's called Abstin Teeth or no, Abstin. Ooh, it's something along the lines of that. I don't exactly remember now. Um, but basically it's like a variety show, but like a raunchy variety show. I would not recommend necessarily seeing it with your parents, if I'm being totally honest here. However, however, it was good. It was really, really funny. And the acts were spectacular. Um, I think they perform every night in Vegas. So if you're ever there, you should go check it out. It was really good. Um, just not something I would recommend seeing with your parents. Um, but our family has a different kind of dynamic anyways. We're like, really, truly, didn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, that was really cool. And the variety, part of the variety show was very, very cool. Like, there were a couple of um, dancers that were, like, dancing on, like, a hula hoop that was, like, on a rope. Um to A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. And just like that song in general is so beautiful. And the dance was so beautiful. And I loved it a lot. Um, 
so yeah, we saw we saw that show on Wednesday night to kind of end off our trip, basically. Um, and then on Thursday, we just headed home. It was a long travel day back home. Um, man, I was so glad to be home on Thursday, though. So yeah, that that's kind of my Las Vegas trip in a nutshell. Um, and then let's fast forward to maybe last Saturday, Sunday. Um, after getting back, I got sick. Um, I've talked, I talked about this in my diamond painting vlog video a little bit, so I won't touch on it too much here, but, um, it really started out, like, maybe Saturday, um, with, it was so weird, because, like, I had, like, a little bit of a cough, but, like, mostly I felt fine up until, like, Tuesday later on in the day. Like, it really just felt like a slight cough up until that point. Then it kind of went down from there. Uh, Tuesday was just feeling, like, ugh a little bit. Um, but then Wednesday, I woke up, like, no taste or smell. <laughs> um, and just, like, like kind of feeling, like, lower energy. Um, but, yeah, Thursday, like, I didn't feel, like, terrible, terrible Thursday. I Honestly, none of the days did I feel that terrible, considering... And as you guys can probably hear in my voice, I am still slightly getting over it, um, but I really think I'm fine now. Um, I have, I haven't sneezed in days. Um, I, yeah, besides, like, I still, you know, I've been waking up, like, every night for the past couple nights, like, in the middle of the night, and then, like, coughing, which is obviously not great. Um, so I'm hoping this cough doesn't actually linger on for a while, because I don't love that feeling. Um... But I am feeling better. Like, I feel high energy and fine from that standpoint. I mostly just sound really gross. Um, so, yeah, I unfortunately did get sick. Um, could have been in Vegas. Could I guess could have been after. I really, I have no idea. I have not a single clue where I got it from, but... Yeah, that, that is, that is actually, like, basically my life update in a nutshell. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys, I guess, about the Vegas trip a little bit. Um, but what I'm actually going to do right now is just take a minute and pause the video and just, like, clear out my throat a little bit because <laughs> I've been talking for so long. And I'm going to give you guys a quick diamond painting crafting update, so just give me a sec. So now I have no drink left. We'll see how this works. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that was kind of my Vegas trip in a nutshell. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that part. Um, I was really excited to talk to you guys about it, and I was disappointed it couldn't be last week, but um, like I said before, I just haven't been feeling the best, so I decided to take off from filming last week, um, mostly because I just didn't, I don't know, I just, you know, I just didn't want to, so I didn't. <laughs> um, I ended up not uploading for a few days and was totally fine. Um, and now I'm really excited to be back. Um, I guess as for like videos that are going up this week, um, tomorrow you guys, <coughs> excuse me, should see a Diamond Art Club mini haul video go up. Um, I bought a few kits from Diamond Art Club and so I plan on unboxing those on camera. Um, actually already filmed, just need to get it scheduled, which is awesome. Um, so I have that going up Tuesday. Um, and then Wednesday, I want to upload, I haven't filmed it yet, but I definitely will, is my summer diamond painting stash video since um, I asked you guys on my community tab uh, what you guys wanted to see next week, and that one did win, and I decided basically to just go with all the options anyways and um, upload the haul and the, the stash video, so that should be up on Wednesday. Um, I was not expecting the vote on that poll to be nearly 100% to one of the options. Like, I think by the time, let me actually check what the poll is at right now, because, like, that was actually kind of crazy that the poll was, like, so... Yeah, it was 85% for my summer diamond painting collection, and then the other 15% was going to unboxings. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead, because I haven't had a video up in a bit, I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, go hardcore next week, um, and upload a few videos and that'll be good and then of course I'll have the diamond painting vlog up um I do need to start that tonight actually because diamond art club just previewed a couple more well not a couple more like another um you guys remember when diamond art club released those like harry potter like stand up little what do you call them like little like oh what are they called all right I'll just look at the screenshot <laughs> 
because I don't know what they're called. Uh, the little, okay, I guess I call them Sparkle Pals. Uh, that's not, that would have never come to mind. Um, how they had those little Sparkle Pals for Harry Potter. They ended up doing another release tomorrow. They're going to do another release for tomorrow. Or I guess today for you guys, if you guys are watching this on the day it's being uploaded, um, for Peanuts versions. So I need to start the vlog tonight because of that. So the vlog will be up on Friday. So definitely a fun week ahead of videos, which I'm excited about. Um, I did end up purchasing from Diamond Art Club yesterday. I really wasn't sure if I was going to or not because I did really like the Chrissa bug that came out and the... Um, the Mrs. Butter D. I definitely really liked the Mrs. Butter D more than the Chrissa Bug, um, but I liked them both, and I figured because I had some points I've been wanting to use, I would go ahead and use some points, so I decided to buy those with points, and so that was great, and um, I also, since it was, I had a $150, um, like, you know, discount code or whatever um, from my points, and um, I really wanted to use up the entire 150 and the two kits cost about 140 um, So I decided actually to throw in some more release papers. Um, since I'm working on three kits at a time now, and I assume at some point some of my release paper papers might get a little like ratty and old, um, I figured I might as well um, stock up on just another pack of them just, you know, for whenever I will need them. I don't want to be like... I don't know, in a bind with it? That's kind of stupid. That sounds stupid out loud. Um, but, but I feel like you guys know what I mean. Um, I'd rather be prepared, I guess is the way I wanted to word that. So I ended up buying those three items, but I'm sure you guys will see that in a haul. Or not in a haul, but like in a vlog at some point. I'm not entirely sure if they were pre-orders. They weren't listed that way. So I'm hoping the order ships out and I get it this week. Um, but I, I don't know if it was actually pre-orders and they just didn't have it listed that way. Um, but we'll see. We'll obviously see. So, let's see. Um, I'm gonna do... Ooh, I don't know where that symbol is. Oh no. I wanted to... Oh no, it's over here. I remember that. I wanted to do this, like, little upside down T symbol. Um, but I did not know where it was. But I found it. <laughs> I found it. Um, there is one more thing I just wanted to briefly touch on before I end off this video. And it actually has more to do with my coloring hobby a little bit. And I don't know how many people that are in the coloring community, like, watch my videos in general, like, um, that are, like, diamond painting related or even, like, my whipping chats. Um, so I don't know if anyone's even gonna, like, be here to hear this but um I like have been doing a lot more thinking about um my coloring hobby and all that stuff and I have definitely touched on this a fair about before um but if you guys are not aware I I started on my channel with adult coloring content and it was my favorite hobby um it was what got me through COVID and um about a year and a half ago in January of 2023, I found diamond painting and something clicked. And this has just been the hobby that I have gravitated towards and obviously really fell, fell in love with. Um, <clears throat> and I guess like, I'm like conflicted about like, so yesterday I filmed and uploaded the flip through video of the Barbie color by number book and I am gonna be so honest you guys it felt really inauthentic for me to be filming that because I just felt like I was not enjoying it um like I like the color by number books you know they they they're they're some of my favorites of the coloring books but I just I don't really at the moment like I'm not enjoying them very much like I'm not enjoying any coloring book um like which is fine and but it's been this way for a year and a half at this point like how long can I keep like lying to myself thinking that maybe eventually I'll like end up you know getting back into this hobby you know what I mean um and that I feel like that for me like oh no I need to find my L my L here it is um L symbol um I feel like <coughs> excuse me I feel like for me like I I don't I feel bad it's kind of like I know that like 
you know, people's tastes change and like you're not always going to have the same hobbies and all that stuff. And I guess my thing is I feel bad because I built an audience around adult coloring and then I really switched it up. <laughs> I was like, you know, I always hinted at like, oh, like I'll definitely still do adult coloring on here and like I'll show you guys finished pages. And but part of me, part of me knows deep down that might not actually like happen. Um... And like, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I love the idea of adult coloring a lot. At the moment, I just don't foresee myself continuing on with it. And I think for like, it just it makes me really, really sad to think about. And I know like, you know, hobbies can come and go. But when I tell you that the, the diamond painting hobby for me, like really, really overtook everything else like it really did it, it just I'm <laughs> I quoted Katie before on this I'm gonna quote Katie again on this it really ticks off like buttons it not maybe she didn't order that way but like it, it just ticks off things for me and like it just makes sense for me to do it like I don't know what it is I don't have patience in general for anything ever why do I have the patience for this how did this happen I'm not sure um, but it just, it does something to me. I love the artwork that I find with it. Um, I love, I love everything about this hobby. And I feel like I've never felt that way about adult coloring. Like, I liked it when I was doing it. But, like, was my brain, like, waiting on something better to come along? I hope that makes any sort of sense. I... And I don't want any, like, I don't want to come off as being, like, ungrateful for, like, what opportunities I had when I was doing adult coloring because I really, really, truly got a lot of great opportunities from it and I learned so much and I met so many amazing people and I think that's why that's so bittersweet for me to potentially be saying, like, fully on, like, fully on, hello, full on, like, goodbye to the hobby. Um, oh, you guys, I don't know. I don't know it really it really hurts and I hate being like saying that because like part of me really wants to believe that I will go back to it but I can't I can't say that with full confidence because I don't I don't really know if that's actually gonna happen you know I don't know you guys I don't know <laughs> so anyways I guess I just wanted to like throw that out there um yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, j I'm just trying to think of the best, like, way to word it, I guess. Um, yeah, there were so many great things that came out of adult coloring for me. And I just hate to think that, like, I maybe, like, not grew out of it, but, like, found something I, I like better. Maybe that is growing out of it. Um, which I know is okay, but, like, I don't know why I feel, like, like, guilty about, like, kind of fully fully blocking it away from my not blocking it away from my channel but almost like fully just calling it like calling this channel fully diamond painting channel I don't know about doing the um the Disney flip throughs I was talking to Courtney about this actually yesterday and she suggested um maybe like uh creating a second channel specifically for those flip throughs um, so that way, if I still want to do those, I can, but there's, like, no real pressure for it, and people can go over there. Um, so let me know in the comments, because I actually thought that was a really good idea. Um, after sleeping on it, I was like, dang, you know what? Actually, a really good idea. Not like I did think it was a good idea when she told me, but I definitely was, like, at first, like, oh, I don't know. But I'm, more I'm thinking about it, I'm like, hmm, this could, this could work. This could be a thing. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments, because I feel like... Now, I don't want my channel to just be one thing of diamond painting, but honestly, that's what it's been. It's been just diamond painting. Oh, I missed one. Um, it really has just been, it just has been diamond painting. Um, and it's just what I love doing, and I love talking about it with you guys. I love doing the vlogs. Um, I love everything about that. I think the one thing that's just been holding me back in my brain is like, you gave up on adult coloring, girly pop. Like, I know I did. I know I did. <laughs> Um, so anyways, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments, um, and all that jazz, um, I guess I'll just finish off this last color, and then I'll go ahead and end off this whip and chat. This ended up being a little bit longer, maybe not that I expected though, because like, I was definitely thinking this would be a little bit on the longer side, just because I didn't talk to you guys last week, um, but I am really glad I was able to catch up with you guys and kind of just speak about what I've, you know, that's been going through my brain, because... I just, I want your guys' input. I really, 
I appreciate you guys so, so much. And um, if you are in the coloring community and you, I guess, have any thoughts on what I was saying, I, honestly, even if you're not in the coloring community, let me know your thoughts. If you've ever dealt with something similar, I want to know. I want to know about it. Please let me know. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off this here. Um, I'm really surprised, honestly, that I only coughed like a couple times so yay progress god my hands are like monsters compared to like <laughs> everything else on this screen um but thank you guys so much for watching this video today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and i will catch you in my next video bye guys